Hey everyone, it's Sarah with RegisterNurseRN.com and in this video I'm going to show how to prime a saline flush and how to prime your extension set whenever you're starting a peripheral IV. Before performing any nursing skills, you want to make sure that you're following your hospital's protocols to ensure you're following the latest guidelines. So why do we go through this priming process whenever we are starting an IV? Well, the saline flush is pre-filled with saline and it has an air bubble inside of the syringe that we must remove because we don't want to inject that in the patient. Also, our extension set, inside this tubing there's nothing but air. So we want to make sure that we fill it with saline so whenever we actually inject into the patient, the saline will go in the patient rather than the air. And the reason we do this and we don't want air to enter into this venous system is because we don't want to cause an air embolism. And there's different types of air embolisms. So with a venous air embolism, what could happen is that air could get into the venous system, the vessel, and it could block it. It could travel to the heart or the brain and cause serious complications. So first what you wanna do is you want to perform hand hygiene and then you can open up your packaging. So here I've already opened up everything. And the first thing that I like to do is I like to undo this little cap that's on the extension tubing because whenever you're starting an IV, you only have one hand to really work with and connect with. And I like this little cap right here at the end to be loose because it's really on there. So I just loosen it up and then just slide it on there. And then what I like to do is I like to get my saline flush and I'm gonna prime it by removing its air bubble. So what you wanna do first is you wanna take that cap off and then slightly pull back on the plunger. And then you can just flick it a little bit if you want to get any air bubbles that may be down in this area to move up and you're going to push the plunger up to expel that air and wait for some saline to drip out. Again, you can flick a little bit more if you have to, and then just push until all that air is removed. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this flush and I'm going to twist it onto my cap of my extension tubing. So take it here, twist it on, then I'm going to inject the saline into the tubing. And how I know that all the air is cleared out, I'm gonna watch it go through and then I'm gonna watch it drip out into the packaging. And as you can see, it's filtering through and you can see we have enough. So I'm just going to leave that there and it is ready to go for whenever I'm ready to start the IV. Okay, so that is how you prime the extension tubing before you actually start an IV. Now, if you would like to watch a video on how to actually insert an IV, you can access the link in the YouTube description below.